Hi, I'm Deborah Adams with the Ingalls Table, and today I'm going to make a very special sandwich for you called the Croque Monsieur. And I got all of these great ingredients at Ingalls, and let's get started. I'm going to start by making a bechamel sauce, and that's very simple. I have three tablespoons of butter that I'm melting in this saucepan, and to that I'm going to add three tablespoons of plain flour, and we're going to incorporate that quickly so that all of the flour is coated in the butter, and we're going to keep that on medium heat for about two minutes. You don't want your sauce to taste like raw flour, so you want to get this cooked but not brown. And as you can see, it's coming along quite nicely. Keep your whisk moving so you don't have any little specks of flour that haven't broken down. And there we go. Let's add our two cups of whole milk while we're whisking. And we're gonna keep this stirring for about five minutes. And this is gonna thicken up and we're gonna add a few more ingredients to it. And we'll be right back and show you what those are. Okay, we've been cooking our bechamel sauce for about five minutes and it has thickened up. And now we're going to add some Gruyere cheese to it. And that's what gives it that great flavor, is the Gruyere cheese. You can use another kind of cheese if you like, any kind of a light cheese, even a Swiss, and a little salt and pepper. Let's give it a stir. And incorporate that cheese into your sauce. When it's not lumpy, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of nutmeg. That yeah, should do it. And for a little extra flavor, I'm gonna add some minced thyme. And I've just taken it off the stem, and just slide your finger down, and uh, just give it a good chop. You don't want it to be minced, just chopped. And that also gives a pretty color to your sauce. Okay. That's that. So we're gonna sit our sauce aside and we're gonna work on the sandwich part. And the twist to my croque monsieur is the fact that I use already prepared French toast from the freezer section at Ingalls. And it's a time saver, but it's such a great flavor. So we're going to start out with eight slices. We're gonna make four sandwiches. I have some butter softened. Let's start stacking these up. Put a little butter on each one, on one side only. And there we have butter on one side, and on the other side, we're going to put our Dijon mustard. And let me get that ready to put on. Just put as much as you like. I'm going to give each one a little thin coat. And then we'll have these ready to put our ham and some more good cheese on. I was about to get that one turned around and get mustard and cheese on, on butter on the same side. Okay. And I'm going to have my griddle on about medium heat. And we're going to start with the butter side down on four of these. Let me make sure that's on medium. Yeah. And one more. Now, as for the ham, I like to put about 
three of these slices on each sandwich. And I just kind of shape them to where they fit that piece of bread. There we go. One more. Now here's our cheese, and we're gonna put about a quarter cup of cheese on each one of these sandwiches. And you're not really cooking it. You can see your French toast has already been browned since you bought it fully prepared. So, we're just gonna let it Warm up the insides. Okay, time for the other side. Remember, put your mustard down. Butter up because we're gonna flip these. Spread those apart a little bit. Losing some cheese to be expected. <laughs> And the next step will be to put them in the oven with our bechamel sauce on top. So I'll be right back and show you how to top them off with the bechamel sauce and put them in the oven. Okay, our sandwiches have been on the griddle for about four minutes, two minutes on each side. And I can tell the cheese is melting inside. So we're gonna put these on a cookie sheet. And this is where we really get French foody because we're gonna put the bechamel sauce on top of these. And I'm gonna use, oh, maybe half a cup on each one. And you can let it kind of trail down the sides a little bit. We're going to sprinkle these with probably a tablespoon of Gruyere cheese before we put it under the boiler. And that's going to bubble up and be lightly browned. And then it will be ready to eat. Okay, I'm going to pop these under the boiler for two or three minutes. I'm going to keep a close eye on them. And we'll be right back to show you how they look when we take them out of the oven. Okay, our croque monsieurs have been in the oven under the broiler to melt the cheese on top. And here we go. So it's all nice and brown and bubbly. And of course the inside is nice and juicy and ready, ready to eat. Uh, I'm gonna cut this in half. Let's give you an idea of how it looks on the inside. But, there you go, we're ready to go to Paris for lunch. Thank you for joining me here at the Ingalls table. Be sure and join us again on the website at ingalls-markets.com for more tips, tricks, and recipes. See you soon.